Recharge, restore, and reinvent yourself at the Dance Teacher Web Conference and Expo at the fabulous Red Rock Resort in Las Vegas. This summer, join a wonderful group of master teachers and business leaders at the Creative Oasis, eager to help you. Now more than ever, it is important to join with educators who are eager to help you succeed. You deserve the best, and this summer, that's exactly what we are committed to giving you at the Dance Teacher Web Conference and Expo. Don't miss out on the opportunity to invest in your growth as a dance teacher. Visit danceteacherexpo.com to learn more and register today. Live from New York City on TalkingAlternative.com with filmmaker, award-winning filmmaker, Ron Hansa. We're back, Ron. How are you feeling? Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a great time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Great to have you, Ron. So Thank you. right before the break, we were talking about your film, Never Stand Still, a documentary on Jacob's Pillow Dance Festival. So I would like to know who is in the film. You said there are so many great dancers in the film. Tell me some of the most notable choreographers in the film that, you know, kind of like your average dancer would know about. And then you can tell me about some of the other people that Certainly. you worked with. Well, I mean, some of the more um, notable names would be um, Mark Morris and Paul Taylor. Um, uh, you also have the Royal Danish Ballet Company. Yes. Uh, you, you have uh, Susan Farrow and her dance company. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, those are uh, Rasta Thomas, who's this ex extraordinary young dancer who's kind of dancing up the world right now. <laughs> so uh, I was starting to explain that the pillow has always represented a, a large variety of movement and dance type. And part of what we felt was necessary to document the pillow correctly was to carefully hand select the companies and performers and choreographers to represent this diversity of movement. Mm -hmm. um, one of the um, performers is an Indian performer, Shantala, yes, yes. who is ex extraordinary. I mean, she is truly a national treasure in the art form and the uh, Kuchipudi dance that she, she performs. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a, a real not only cross-section, but there's also a, a real high level of performance and dance throughout the film. Absolutely. Um, the thing that I found most um, exciting is the opportunity to not only film these dancers and choreographers' work, but to get an opportunity to meet them and speak with them and, 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 and really have an opportunity to explore why they make dance. Yes. And it was a real honor to to meet, you know, the, the ex, you know the extraordinary people and artists that, that gave gave to us their their time and their art, and we thank them for that. Yeah, were you able to capture kind of all of the hard work that goes into a choreographer or a dance company's preparation? I mean, to to perform at Jacob's Pillow, you have to be you know, of a certain caliber and at a certain level in your career. Um, did you get to kind of capture what their, I guess, their journey was to get there? Yes. I mean, I, uh, each each company, each choreographer serves a different aspect of the story we wanted to tell. So not every company is used uh, in the capacity of, of seeing a work get created and then rehearsed right. and then executed because we thought that would be too formula to do right. that over and over again. Right. So different segments do different things or different portraits of artists uh, add or back in the story or fill in the story that we were trying to to um, um, you know create. Um, but Rasta Thomas, for example, is a is a great great little story of not only you know profiling Rasta and his bad boys of dance, mm -hmm. which was a kind of a pickup uh, group of dancers he court he put together for this premiere performance at the Pillow. But it it really gave us an insight. That was a piece where we did do. Um, a 
day in a life where you got to see the backstory and the pressures of the first time and them doing a performance at the pillow mm -hmm. and talking about that. So they were used as kind of the young, new upstarts performing at the pillow for the first time. Right. And then you contrast that to someone like Mark Morris, who has performed at the pillow endless amounts of time right. and everywhere in the world. Yes, the and yet brings to that experience not only Mr. Mr. Morris's brilliant work, but but the uniqueness of having a history, and 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 he started teaching up at the Pillow back in the 80s. Matter of fact, oh, I wow. met Mark when I first went up there. When I say I went up there, I met some interesting people. Mark oh, was wow. one of them, and um, you know he's now a young young dancer, just starting to make the you know the headlines, and um, was was really you know an exciting person to have an opportunity to see early in his career. Mm -hmm. So anyway. The diversity of, of movement in the film, I think, is, is part of what creates the entertainment value and, and captures, I like to say, if you don't like the film, wait five minutes and you're going to see something else. Right, you know? right. So <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like this part, you'll like right. the next part, so just and hold on. You know, <laughs> if, if you're not a classical ballet person, you know, you'll, you'll get through the Royal Danish Ballet and you'll find something very, very different, you know, around the corner. Right. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't at all an attempt to make a variety show. It was really an attempt to uh, connect with artists that had a very strong connection uh, either historically or uh, artistically with the pillow. Okay, so you showed the film at the Dance Camera West Film Festival. What was the um, reaction from the audience and from the dancers? Have the dancers in the film seen the film? Not all of them. Okay. Uh, we still hope to do that. And uh, again, uh, the background to this is this film just got released. Matter of right. fact, there's still some minor things we're, we're tweaking in the film, mm -hmm. uh, not editorially, but credits and just details of that nature. Um, we had an opportunity to get into the Dance Camera West Festival, which was the 10th anniversary of uh, probably one of the more important festivals where dance is really recognized, mm -hmm. uh, kind of a convergence of film and, and dance. So it was a very high level of, uh, of, of audience and, and um, dancers and educators and filmmakers who cared a great deal, not only about dance, but how dance was captured. Absolutely. And how how, you know, the, the, taking a look at different ways excuse me, different ways in which people do that. Um, so we were honored to be part of it. Uh, we went out, Nan Pimmin and I, uh, the producer of the film, went out to Los Angeles. Uh, the screening was at the uh, Billy Wilder Theater, which is this beautiful state-of-the-art theater, uh, part of UCLA campus. It's part. In, it's in the Hammer Museum. Mm -hmm. So we were very, you know, very smitten by the, <laughs> the fact that it was, you know, big, big deal LA stuff. Right. <laughs> uh, in a beautiful theater. And um, the film screened, um, the last day of the festival, there were quite a few other documentaries screened that day. And again, we, we felt it went well. Uh, we could tell after the screening, people seemed very responsive to the film. Mm -hmm. um, we did a Q&A in which people had some really interesting questions about the process and um, just had a lot, a lot of, you know, interest in knowing more about the film. And it wasn't until we came back a couple days later that we had learned that Never Stand Still uh, was actually actually selected for Best Documentary at the festival, which we were thrilled. I mean, absolutely what, what thrilled. What was that like? I need to know. Like, you got the phone call, you got the email. What was well, that you know, like? Well, you know, life today, everything comes in an email. Of course. You okay, know. I don't you even don't, know why. You don't I get said. phone calls know, anymore or letters. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so we, we did receive an email indicating that we... Um, we, we had been given this award, so it was just thrilling, you know. Uh, going back to the, this effort was a labor of love, mm -hmm. and it took four years to actually birth. Uh, it's very confirming. Uh, it's not an ego thing as much as it's confirming that something you spent so much time on mm -hmm. is b being received by not just any audience, but an audience who you really care about. Right. Yeah, and we're, we're very hard to please, Ron. <laughs> we're very hard to well, please. Well, da dancers are very very smart people. Yes. And you can't Hello. Did everyone hear that? Um, Dancers are smart people, okay? Uh, they truly are. I, I think part of what's compelling about the film is the insights and the articulation that we get from the cross-section of interviews and, and artists that we speak to. Mm -hmm. And I think their ability to really bring you into their 
their point of view and their their motives and and their artistic expression um, is is very unique. Uh, I, I I think you can speak to a lot of different artists, even musicians, about their work, and very often they can't really articulate what it is they do and why they do it. Mm -hmm. Dancers think about that a lot. Every day we do. Every day. <laughs> we have to understand, Ron, because it's so hard. It's, it's so challenging. Like, if we don't know why we're doing this, then, then we're in serious trouble. I want to say that I appreciate this film, even though I haven't seen it in its entirety yet. I appreciate it because I feel like a lot of the dance that's represented in the media is not really a good representation of what dance and the art form is all about. So what you're doing, I connect with a lot more, and I think a lot of dancers will connect with it more also. So we're gonna take a break in a minute or so, yeah? Okay, I have one more minute. And um, so I'll just finish what I was saying. I feel like this is a great representation for us. We can look at it, we can feel the emotion of the hard work of the people in the film. We know that they're legit, and it's not just a competition or a contest, which a lot of us are so over. And it's great to see dance in the mainstream media and on television, we're happy, but there's more to it than competitions and you know eliminations and judges and celebrities and all of this. This is a real art form. This is our life. This is our soul. So I appreciate you for capturing that. Thank you very much. So that's my little tidbit. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with Ron Hansa. Stay tuned. If you want to enhance your company's web presence with an eye-catching and unique website design? Would you like to incorporate professional video marketing or mobile marketing into your organization's marketing campaign? Mission 101 Media offers a unique marketing experience that will set you apart from your competitors, magnify your brand exposure, and enhance your current marketing efforts. Their services include video production and editing, web design, graphic design, photography, social media management, and now introducing mobile marketing. Their motto is, we do whatever it takes to make our clients happy. Contact them today at mission101media.com. Would you like to advertise your company's products or services on the Kiner Hour? Become one of our sponsors and get extensive online promotion and advertising for your business. Email info at kinerenterprises.com for more information on our affordable and competitive sponsorship packages. Businesses of all types are welcome. Kiner Enterprises Inc. is the leader in dance consulting, dance resources, and innovation through multimedia. We provide dance studio owners with social media marketing training and coaching, dance teacher staffing consulting, and offer extensive resources to dance teachers and dance professionals through the Kiner Enterprises Inc. Dancers Blog online community. If you're a dance teacher looking for work, we can help. If you're looking for ways to grow or expand your dance career or dance business, join our online community for dance professionals today. Check out our online articles, videos, ebooks, and presentations and get access to the resources that you've been looking for. Join the Kiner Enterprises Inc. Dancers Blog community today by going to KinerEnterprisesIncBlog.com and click on Sign Up. That's it. It's free, quick, and easy. Kiner Enterprises Inc. Making the dance world a better place every day.